Hello, this time I will show you how to make a device that can determine the quality of the bulbs from the point of view of the flicker. The quality also depends on the spectrum of light they emit, but we will discuss this in one of the following videos. Incandescent halogen or fluorescent lamp as well as LED if poorly designed turn on and off many times a second and produce light with a flicker at a certain frequency. Numerous studies have shown that flickering allowed high frequency and they totally invisible it can also cause, cause headaches, eye strain and nausea. Commercial flickering measuring instruments are very expensive, from a few hundred to several thousand dollars and we can make it and, uh, and we can make it for about ten dollars. Uh, the code is taken from Electron Update block and instead of APDS 9002 light sensor, I use homemade sensor made of old transistor in metal box, in my case BC219. For a sensor you can use almost any transistor with a metal housing to which you will cut the upper part. I also use a 1.3 inch OLED display instead of 0.9 inches for better visibility with minor code changes. The device is extremely simple to make and contains only a few components. Arduino Nano microcontroller, small 1.3 inch OLED display with SH1106 chip, homemade light sensor made of an old metal transistor and one button. If we have an oscilloscope there is a very simple way to test the flickering period and amplitude. All we have to do is to connect the sensor directly to the scope without any additional electronics. Due to the nature of the experiment the light during the shooting can change from very weak to very strong. We will first test the brightness of this battery flash lamp. As we can see the signal is in form of a straight line, which is logical considering that the LED is powered by a direct current from a battery. We will now activate the flashing mode and observe the shape of the signal. The flashing signal is rectangular and uh, his frequency is about 7 Hz. Next we will test several types of light sources. I will present it to you, in, to you in a very general and simplified way so that it can be better understood. In general the closer the signal shape is to such a straight line, the better the lamp. The shape of electricity in the public network looks like this and has a frequency of 50 Hz or 60 Hz in some countries. All incandescent bulbs are powered directly from the mains, so they flash at the same frequency of 50 Hz, but their flicker is imperceptible because they are actually heaters and cannot quickly follow the change which in this case is a positive future. As we see there is not visible flickering. In some cases LED bulbs were powered by a half wave voltage, uh, obtaining by using uh, one diode and their flicker is at a frequency of 50 Hz and with high intensity because less are electronic elements that currently monitor the change of voltage, unlike the incandescent bulbs. Here is what we look like on an oscilloscope. This is a half wave rectifier with one diode and this is the test LED.
The following example is when the lamp is powered by a pulsating voltage obtained after a Gretz bridge. The signal looks like this and in this case the flicker frequency is 100 Hz. Now let's look at the shape of the signal on an oscilloscope. This is a Gretz bridge. As we see the frequency is 100 Hz. If a capacitor added to the grass bridge, the signal looks like this. And is very close to a straight line which is an ideal case. Let's look at the signal on an oscilloscope. This is a filter capacitor. This method is most often used in lamps that are produced today. Next there are switching mode power supply which is a better than all the previous example. As we see, there is a straight line on the scope. Now consider a type of high power LED used in spotlight. In this type of LED, the power supply is located on the cooling plate itself and probably uses the pulse width modulation principle without a filter capacitor. This is the same type LED. As seen on the, on the oscilloscope, the signal is almost rectangular with a large difference between the minimum and maximum amplitude. Uh, this type of lamp should be avoided in the home and can only be used for outdoor lighting. The device I present to you is cheap, compact and shows the degree of flickering in percent and there is also an oscilloscope mod uh, where we can see the shape of the light signal. It is a practical because it is powered by batteries so that we can freely walk around any room and measure the percentage of flicker of light sources. And now let's try to test the quality of the many types of light bulbs we use in our homes. This is an all incandescent lamp that operates di directly at 220 volts and for the light source uses incandescent roller made of tungsten. The distortion is quite small because the incandescent fiber cannot heat up and cool up cool down so quickly. Let's try. About 2% distortion. and scope shape. This is an old fluorescent lamp. Her percentage is uh, around, around 8. These are LED lamps of relatively poor quality and the flicker factor is about 
This is a high power LED chip with built-in power supply and as we can see the distortion is too large, about 30%. So as I said before, it is desirable to use this lamp only for outdoor, outdoor lighting. This is a high quality LED lamp and this type of bulb is often used in our homes. The flicker rate is extremely low and this is a great lamp for home use. Flicker rate is about 1%. This is another small high quality LED lamp uh, often used in our homes. The flicker rate is about 1%.